Oh my gosh. Big ideas first. Action. Take one. Okay, um, my name's Bridget Hernandez. I'm 15. I go to South San Francisco High School. So my name is Sagar Bajpai and I am from South San Francisco, California. I'm Maris Garcia and I'm a sophomore at South City. I'm Brianna. Alejandro Vina. I'm David Perez. I'm Natasha. My name's Ophelia Gomez. I'm from South San Francisco High School. I'm a junior and I'm 15. Whoa, I'm 16 years old. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think that a lot of my peers and just students overall in high school are like really scared and really don't know what's coming after high school and they don't know what to do. I don't know exactly what I want to do. I have no idea. Yeah, I have no that. idea. I'm drifting. I feel lost. I don't really know where to start. Not being sure kind of scares me. And like pressure, like you always think about, oh, what is this person going to think of me if I do this? So it's like a lot of confinement and society doesn't really contribute to you finding yourself. That's where road termination comes in and you go interview people and see what road they've taken to see what road you can take. I would have never thought like just go up to people and interview them like to give me an insight on what I might want to do. So when I heard of like road termination does that like it just sparked wonders in my head. We're all here at the you know Big Ideas Fest. We're gonna meet new people interview them, figure out how they got to where they are, why they do what they do. What is their goal? What are they trying to achieve? What was their biggest inspiration? What was their biggest obstacle? I would like to ask if there's something else they thought they would be doing when they were my age. We're striking up conversations with total strangers. That's what we're doing. And we're hoping that they can change our lives. I'm hoping to take like everything I can out of this experience. And like, I want to get out of my comfort zone here. Get out of the bubble. Oh, I'm really excited to meet everyone. Let's have fun. Let's do it. <sighs> you guys are in charge? Uh oh. I'm out of here. <laughs> so, the first question um, Do you find yourself successful? Do you ever feel overwhelmed with all this? What risks have, have you taken? Where exactly were you when you were our age? Like, what exactly were you doing? So how old are you? Um, fifth. I'm about to be 16. Oh, I was up to no good. No, I, um, so I was, that would make me, I was in 10th grade, Yeah. I think. So I was not the best student on the planet. I sort of really was very introverted in some ways, I think, in high school. You know, got great grades and worked really hard and just sort of lived this very inner life when I was your age. I had three kids before I started college and I was a single mom. It turned out not to be the best thing for me, but in a sense, I would never trade my three kids for anything. I think they were my motivation. It's different than learning like straight out of books. I'm listening to people and their experiences and hopefully I can one day like tell my experiences to other people and inspire them. You know the term chutzpah? Uh, Yiddish term, you know, basically means uh, you got guts, you go for something, you know. You're gonna not let something get in your way. They'll say what you think. If you're gonna doubt, worry about it. Don't be afraid of that doubt. Life is a mixture of bad and good, and if you appreciate that, you're gonna be a lot more comfortable with who you are. So few people actually live out what they wish that they'd done. Do what you want to do, right? Then like what your parents have to tell you and what your teachers have to tell you and like what grown-ups have to tell you and what your friends have to tell you, like ultimately, they're not gonna live your life. They're not gonna go home and look in the mirror at night and say like, this is what I'm doing with my life. This, this was a life-changing experience, honestly. I'm not just saying that, I honestly, truly, feel that it's different. I, I'm gonna be different, I'm gonna be more positive, I'm gonna talk more, I'm gonna just wanna be heard now. Like, I'm not afraid of being judged for what I have to say. Before Road Trip Nation, I was just um, lost. My future was like so blurry and I don't know, I guess everything just started clearing up. Kinda like put the puzzle pieces together for me and like, I found myself. I definitely feel more confident. Like, it's okay to try new things because 
I saw other people do it, then I feel like I can do it too. And then it kind of amazed me too how like how I can relate with these successful people. They all felt those pressures, but they all did what they wanted to do instead. They didn't let anybody block them. Really getting to interview people, like one after another, and hear so many different stories. The whole inspiration just led me through the whole three days. Because they really are life lessons. Like It's really going to help us after high school and after college and with our jobs. And just even further after that, they're just going to help us, period. We, like all eight of us from South City, you know, we value what we learned at this conference. We value the people that we met. We value you guys, Road Trip Nation, the RV, all the quotes on the ceiling, on the walls, on the outside of the RV. That, that's all I can say, you know, like you can't put a price on it. You can't put a price on this, on this opportunity.